Hey everyone, and welcome to Cannabis Processing and Technology. Today, we'll be showing you a couple of tools you can use to examine your trichomes, so you can know this too. So whenever someone asks how far along their plants are or when to harvest, the common response is always to check the trichome development as that's typically the best indicator of how far your plants are in the flowering stage. Except how exactly do we check this? Well today, I'll be covering a couple of tools to do this, from the most common options to a few surprising ones. But first, I'll answer the most common question asked about trichome magnification, and that's how much of a magnification do you need to be able to see the trichomes? Well, that depends on what you're trying to see. Any basic 10 times magnifying glass will show you if groups of trichomes are turning amber, but for the basic new grower, at minimum you'll want a 20 times magnification because at this range, you'll at least also barely be able to see if the trichomes are turning cloudy or not, and you can clearly see which are starting to turn amber, which is the biggest milestone in terms of trichome development. Ideally, with 30 to 40 times magnification, you'll be able to see groups of trichomes clearly enough to notice a change in cloudiness, and anything past that, for example with a 100 to 500 times microscope, you'll also be able to examine individual trichome stalks. Overkill for most growers, but they do look really cool close up. So for the tools, first we have the most basic and commonly used portable magnification tool, a jeweler's loop. With a jeweler's loop, it generally ranges from 20 to 60 times magnification, and they come in all shapes and sizes, although the most common form looks similar to this. Some have built-in lighting, but generally outside lighting or a lamp is good enough, so it's not necessary, and you should be able to find these easily anywhere for under $10. Second, let's take a look at something a little more advanced a basic digital microscope. At under $20 for the cheapest models, these are great if you want to be able to both check your trichomes and also take digital images or video of it. Because this is a microscope, these magnify way more than a jeweler's loop, going anywhere from 100 to 1000 times magnification, but since these have to be plugged into a computer, you'll most likely have to cut off part of your plant each time you want to examine it. Finally, we have your cell phone. No, seriously. With how good cell phone cameras are these days, a lot of times if you take a macro shot of a bud and then just zooming into the photo, you'll easily be able to tell if your trichomes are turning amber or not. And with a simple, cheap, clip-on cell phone magnification lens, you'll actually be able to see similar to that of a jeweler's loop. In fact, if you have a jeweler's loop already, you can MacGyver your own digital magnification photos by just placing the loop in front of your cell phone camera lens. And that's it. So if you like this video, check out our website at weedalepot.com for more cannabis time lapses, grow tutorials, processing guides, and product reviews.